Alright, welcome back to Classic Games Done Quick, our 10th anniversary event for the original Classic Games Done Quick. I am joined uh, by Cool Kid, who's been on this once or twice already. Uh, he's here to run Super Mario Bros. 2 USA for us, so Cool Kid, it's the floor is yours. Alright, thank you very much. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Super Mario Bros. 2, the superior version. Uh, uh, for us, I'm playing the Japanese version. Uh, it's uh, basically the same as the North American version. I just happen to own a Famicom, so it's the most convenient version for me to play on. And yeah, without further ado, yeah, let's let's go. And uh, yeah, okay, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> So I, I'm starting off 1-1 picking Toe, and he's the character I've been using for most of the run. Okay, I'm gonna attempt something that's quite difficult. Okay, I got the first part. Uh, that power grab is uh, coming out of the door is frame perfect. Let's do it. Set up a glitch. Let's see if I get it. Unfortunately not. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not used to dropping these bombs. <laughs> okay, we're good. I'm gonna have a shy guy here. Hello, shy guy. Oh. Okay, so this 1-1 got a little strange. I almost got the entire setup for a uh, really cool quick kill on Birdo, but... Unfortunately, got hit by the shy guy in, uh, inside of the cave, and that, that ruined, yeah. Unfortunately, <clears throat> ruined the setup, but... Alright, got out. Okay. 1-1 one one is the scariest level in the game, I'd say. At least for a, a, like, at least for a marathon run, like a live run like this. Just so many things go wrong, actually. So, oh, here's a fast carpet. So the reason I'm playing Toad right now is that he is the fastest moving character in the game. Uh, he moves... Oh, so you have to frame perfect uh, grab again. <laughs> There's so many tricks in this game, it's hard to uh, sort of explain what's going on, but um, you're not supposed to bring a veggie into that boss fight, which I just did. So that's cool. But anyway, uh, I play Toad because uh, he runs faster whenever he's carrying a heavy object like an enemy. Cool little grab there. So I'm playing. So this is the end percent run with warps. Uh, I'll be going using a. Going for the first warp in uh, this level. Double jump. Um. I didn't. Think... Okay. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's try again. Without uh... <laughs> putting the potion on the corner. Uh, I I need to enter that door. Uh... <clears throat> All right. Try more moderate approach this time. There we go. Made it. Warp. World 4. Alright, um... <clears throat> <laughs> Why? Why did I have to throw potion on the ground like that? Well, that's fine. Uh, it didn't It didn't end up costing me much time. A, the only thing I'm sort of scared of is game over in, because it's... It's a pretty... It's very easy to die in this game. And if you get if you die, you have to. It's not that bad, but you have to replay, start back from first uh, level, the world you're in. <clears throat> Already down one life. <laughs> All right, as long as I get through this without game over, I'll be pretty happy. But anyway, World of Four is very straightforward. Four dash one, run to the end. There's not a warp in Four dash two. But yeah, so Andrew's run from Classic Game Sound Quick is I believe, actually one of my favorite. It has one of my favorite moments or GDQ moments ever. I definitely recommend uh, you all to watch his run, or at least watch the very end of his run, because something very amazing happens uh, <laughs> right at the end of, of his run, Ward Fight. And I believe that might have been the first. Uh, that has never happened before a moment recorded in GDQ history. Not sure, but it might just 
might just be the first. So yeah, okay, so I just walked from 4-2, 6-1. One. Here's where the game gets pretty tough. It's first gonna 6-1 features. It's a lot of tight jumps. Oops. It's possible to do this no stop without stopping at all, but small toad. <clears throat> Doing a specific round here to manipulate the, the shy guy movements. And by standing in the very corner, I'm able to pick up the key without digging in the sand tile. That. Now, this bird fight is she, uh, she's pretty scary. Um, I like to not die. <laughs> Alright. Played it pretty safe there, made it through. But okay, that's, that's it for Toad for now. 6-2, playing Lu play Luigi. Let's see, just one. So you can double jump in this game. I didn't really explain double jumping, but Luigi is master at double jumping. So yeah, that's 6-2, Luigi. Attempt a little quick kill here. The movement of Luigi is pretty is pretty tricky. All right, glad I got past six dash two. That's a pretty scary level. Um, but yeah, the way the double jump works is uh, you can jump if you jump into an enemy without taking damage. You sort of touch top of the enemy's hitbox. Uh, yeah, if you do that, and you, if, you, if you do that, you can jump again and be there. <laughs> That's how it works. All right, cool. Little skip there. It's called a potion jump. Birdo here. Get a little double. Get some down. Here's a triclive fight. There's no randomness to this fight. This guy, pretty scary. Three hits to take him down. Okay. That was uh that was a nice world six. Cool. So onto the final world already. World seven. There are only two levels in world seven, but it's, I think this level, seven one. To me, the hardest uh, level to uh, get a really good run of. A little slippery, but okay. So the way this the, this game works, the rockets is they sort of operate on a cycles. You know, sort of like a oh no, you know, a bus. Now, but those rockets would only blast off every about every second. But there's a rocket in 4-1 and one in 7-1. And one in 4-2 as well, but don't go in that one 100%. Anyway, you can also do some jumps off ladders. 8-frame window with Luigi and 3-frame window with all the other characters. You can also abuse, it's cool a trick here, you can abuse those iframes during a pickup animation. Okay, so that was Luigi. Um, not for Toad, it's the best character for the final level. I didn't really explain how this run works, but um, it's a really cool speedrun. <laughs> I picked up this speedrun uh, last year, and it's it's turned into one of my favorite speed games. Both this run with Warps and the uh, the, the Warpless run. Uh, two runs I really like. And if they're in it... Oh... Okay, let's see if I make it. I, I, I might be good. Um, <laughs> but anyway, oh yeah. So this, this uh, actually, pretty much everything in this game operates on cycles. Oh, that was close. So this final fight against War, the veggie cycles, the veggies will pop out about every four seconds. So my objective here is to make sure I get to the the end fast enough to catch the earliest veggie cycle. I think I made it. Uh, I made it, but I was a little too slow. I got the veggie, but... Not able to hit it, but... I have a chance to go for the G glitch now. If I... If I so, uh, there's no I'm gonna get it. 
Oh, I missed. I missed. But anyways, I you know, there's yeah something really funny that happened to Andrew G when he was doing this run back in the day. All right, so this fight is sort of sort of don't have this under control right now. Oh, can I get it? Ah, I didn't get it. Did not get it. Sorry, the G. Sorry, Andrew. Anyways, uh, time is when I enter the door. And that is Super Mario Bros. 2. Cool little run, really fun speed game. Yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for having me. Where did I die? Uh, oh yeah, 1-3, I put the potion <laughs> on this side. Oh, that's fine. Wait, what's the time, by the way? Uh... 10-ish minutes, uh, the timer did a couple things, so <laughs> it was it was just underestimate, despite what the timer said. Okay, okay, cool. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks so much for, uh, for being on. Uh, we are going to take it to a quick break before we get on to uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. It's going to be a race, actually. Uh, you'll see the runners when we get back, so hang tight. <laughs> 